this video I want to show you how to play the jazz standard I've found a new baby on mandolin. This is a standard that was first published in 1926, written by Jack Palmer and Spencer Williams. And it's been recorded in many different versions. I'm thinking of like Homer and Jethro recorded it, and also some classic recording from Charlie Christian, Django Reinhardt. Well, many jazz players have. And it's, I mean, there's a, there's a reason. It's a really, really nice tune. And uh, yes, in this video, we're having a look at the melody. Let me show how you can play I Found a New Baby. My name is Magnus Sedlund and I help mandolin players just like you get to the next level. If you're new here at the channel, make sure you subscribe. We have new videos like this coming out every week. Also hit that bell notification button and you will get notified as soon as we publish a new video. For an enhanced learning experience, you find the sheet music, the tabs for this tune and all the other tunes here at the YouTube channel inside our Mandolin Secrets Academy. Also like backing tracks, play along and things like that. And you also have a chance to reach out to me in the community if there's questions or anything. So learn more about it and check it out at my website. It's mandolinsecrets.com. All right, we are up for the melody. And when I'm playing the melody for this one, first I'm doing it like closed position and um, there are, I'm also doing a sort of like small chord punches when I'm playing the melody. However, uh, today we're gonna look at the first like single note melody. That is the starting point if you wanna do this chord thing also, but first uh, like getting the single note melody down. That's what we're gonna do now. But we're having a listen to like when I'm doing the this melody chord thing, also along with a, a backup on the octa mandolin. So we get an idea how it's kind of the interplay between the different parts. So first I'll listen to that. One, two, and one, two, three, four, one. I think you can see what I mean by this, this chord punches in the melody. But now we're doing the single note one. And also noticed, this is a very common like form. Uh, it's the, it's an A part and a B part, and the sections is presented A A B A. We're gonna play, look at the melody, the single note melody here once, and then I will give you a small like insights about the closed position, and then we'll also play it back at the slow tempo. But first, here at, it's at 150 beats per minute. One, 
I played it two times through there. And let me give you uh, some source more details about this closed position thing. Yes, so we're in the key of D minor starting. And what I mean with closed position, I'm using no open strings. So the first phrase is... I think you want to follow along in the PDF to get it uh, well, it's much easier to follow that way. I included picking directions, fingerings and all that. So, but starting here on the 6th fret, with the 2nd finger. So you see, this is a D note, we could use the open string, but I'm kind of staying here in this box. It's the box 3 the way I see it. And um, it's sort of here we, we want to be like move a little bit so it's not like totally position fixed for example in the B part we're doing and then going here to you see this we're kind of move doing a position shift here so be a little bit open of, of and not fix it to a position, but be able to, f to move the hand depending on where the melody is going. Well, not too much to add about it. I think it's really well explained in the PDF and in the, um, in the demonstration playthrough here. All right, we're now continuing playing it at a slow tempo, and I think you can follow along here. And I'm um, doing the exact same thing as I'm doing up tempo, but now at a slower speed basically. And I think this is a this is where you want to start when you're learning this piece. But of course, it's also good to listen to it at the higher speed a little bit so you know where you're going, sort of. And it's not the groove and the timing might be a little bit tricky when at, at this slow tempo, but uh, you can see that I'm I'm doing my very best to nail it even here. Here we go. One, two, and one, two, three, four, one.
All right, my friend, there you got it. And as I mentioned, uh, we are gonna build on this to also add a few like uh, chord punches here. Do -de -do -de -de -do -ba. That kind of thing. Um, but really nail this one first. Then we also wanna get the accompany down uh, with the chords and the backup rhythm then we can combine the two into this melody chord thing. I don't would call it a chord melody, I call it melody chord. Well, in the, that video we talk about the difference. That's it my friend, so if you like this video please hit that thumbs up. And would also be very happy if you would like to leave a comment below if you enjoy playing jazz tunes like I found a new baby. Do you like it? What is your story? Please let us know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, see you in a new video soon.